confidentiality versus privileged communications. According to Remley and Heerly, uh, our text for the class, confidentiality is our obligation and our promise to respect the client's privacy. Uh, basically, um, let them know and help them understand that what they say to me stays with me. Privileged communication, on the other hand, is more of a legalistic term. Basically, the standard rules of evidence say when it's relevant, the government's going to need it for a court case. And there are uh, specific relationships that are exempted from these rules, and they're explicitly spelled out pretty much uh, legally speaking. Communication between uh, private citizens and like doctors, lawyers, and in the state of Ohio, also counselors and social workers, those communications are privileged, which means we are exempted from evidentiary rules. Uh, however, there are limitations. Uh, one of the limitations for confidentiality is if uh, I know as a counselor that my client is going to hurt themselves or hurt someone else, then I have to disclose that information and make sure that everybody's safe. And the other part is actually spelled out in the Ohio Revised Code, Section 2151.421, which was updated in 2022, uh, which basically says that all uh, mental health practitioners are mandated reporters is something as an educator I am unfortunately uh, pretty familiar with. If there is abuse to a vulnerable protected group, specifically children and the elderly, then I am required legally to report that to a government agency. Um, in the case of children, it would be Child Protective Services. As far as other laws in the state of Ohio, uh, the rest of it falls under the Ohio Administrative Code, Section 4757.5.2, Section D, which was updated in 2021. Uh, Section D is just titled Responsibility to Clients slash Consumers of Services as to Confidentiality. There's five sections here. Number one says when we can break confidence, says when we have the consent from the client or if they're going to harm themselves or others or if they're going to violate any other laws. And that is left pretty vague and open. So I'm assuming that's where the subpoenas and court orders could come into play. Uh, number two is actually kind of interesting that they put it in writing that these discussions about confidentiality between the counselor and the client should happen as soon as possible. Also goes along with what Alderman found in a 2017 study that privacy assurances are essential for patient disclosure, especially when working with adolescents. Section three is about group or family counseling. So if there's more than one person involved, uh, we are required to remind everybody there that I can only control what I share. And so I don't really have the ability to stop other people in the group or stop other family members from breaking the confidence of others. As a group, we could decide Maybe we don't want that person in our group sessions anymore, but you can't very well kick a family member out of the family all that easily. So it's just a reminder that I can only control myself and you shouldn't break each other's confidences, but there's not really anything I can do to stop it. The fourth section deals with protecting information that's transmitted electronically. So like uh, email, fax, phone conversations, uh, things like that, making sure that everything's protected, especially if you're using a cloud service for any of that basically doing whatever we can to make sure that that doesn't get hacked or breached in any way. And then uh, five has to do with mandated clients. And uh, we need to remind a mandated client that they are under a mandating authority. And so their confidentiality is going to be limited because there's things that I will be required to share with that authority, especially if they are legally mandated for counseling. It also spells out that the client is free to refuse counseling then, but we have a duty then to explain to them what the consequences of that refusal could very well end up being. So that is what I have uh, for confidentiality versus privileged communication. Thanks for watching. Put your thoughts below.